good morning or no it's afternoon actually good afternoon from Nom Pen so we didn't actually vlog our time in Kuala Lumpur did we at all because well you did we vlogged on. on my channel yeah so we've skipped from Bali to Kuala Lumpur to Cambodia and we didn't vlog um, Kuala Lumpur because we only had three days there and we vlogged one of the days on my channel so go check out that video if you want to see what we got up to but the other two days we were there we just stayed in the resort we were staying at because we mm -hmm. just needed to relax we had so much to do with work and with flights and there's just loads of things we had to get done so we just sort of chilled out at the place yeah. so now we're in Phnom Penh and we spent the morning doing some work and laying in bed and stuff and I'll show you the apartment we're staying in we're only here for a few days it's a cute little studio apartment but we found it on Airbnb for a ridiculously cheap price, so why not? It's got everything we need. Here's the kitchen, got a little stove, rice cooker, sink. Here is the bathroom. Hello. And it's got a shower. How was the shower last night, Alex? Pretty good. Toilet. And then a step, which I have stubbed my toe on about three times. Here's all our stuff. And we just did a wash, so there's loads of our socks and stuff lying around. It's got a little mini fridge and a sofa with all our receipts and money from countries <laughs> we didn't spend and then our nice big bed which was our workstation this morning and then I have my clothes over there which I'm not going to unpack so we're here for a couple days and then out here we have a little kind of balcony thing which we just did a wash and I've hung up all our clothes on the hangers and then we are down a little side street. Um, so yeah, it's got everything we need. As I said, we're only here for two days, is it? Three nights, two days. Uh, yeah. Three nights, two days, and then we're going to CM Reap, which is a town about how far away? Is it a city or a town? Is it a town? Sure it's a city. Is it a city? <laughs> okay, it's a city about five hours away from Phnom Penh but it's where you go to visit the Angkor Wat temples or temple complex oh I don't know how to every time I can't lock that door can you do it mm -hmm. um so I have my cousin lived in Cambodia for a long time so I messaged him to ask him where the best places were to go if we had like a week in Cambodia and he said you've got to go to Phnom Penh for a few days and you have to go to see and reap to see the Angkor Wat complex because I'm pretty sure it's one of the wonders of the world and it's the largest temple complex in the world and you need like a few days to sort of see it and so we're going to go up there and there's also a village called Kompong Plok I think that's what it's called but I might be a little bit off um, but that's a village on stilts which I think we're going to ride to on our bikes and go visit as well because we're in Siem Reap for three or four days so yeah it's a quick trip, but we've kind of got like a limited time now before we're going to Canada to meet our family. So we're kind of having to fit everything in and we wanted to go to Cambodia and we wanted to do Vietnam as well. So we're going to Vietnam after Siem Reap to Hanoi and yeah, and then we're going to Canada. So it's a really short space of time, but uh, we're fit, trying to fit it all in and I'm really excited to be in Cambodia for some reason because it reminded me of Chiang Mai when we arrived last night, we, were, we got two tuk-tuks to fit our bikes on. You might have seen it on Snapchat, but it was kind of a crazy drive. It's really hard to find this place and it really reminded me of Chiang Mai So I'm excited to get out today and explore so let's go I think we're gonna go to the Royal Palace and grab some food nearby because there's a vegetarian place. So yeah
the samosas. I want one now. Oh, nice bun. <laughs> it's like growing upwards. I feel like we over ordered because I'm so full and Alex just asked for more rice and then it's just sitting there. Oh, it's partly because I'm so hot, you can see I'm like sweating. So when you're really hot, you don't really feel like having more soup. Oh. This place though, really, really good. It's called The Vegetarian. So if you're in pen, it's great. I need to go for a walk to like digest all that food. Okay, so this video has jumped forward in time quite significantly, but basically, we've got to be honest with you, we were like, oh, should we bother finishing this vlog? And I think it's good to be like real here. Um, we were about to go to the Royal Palace and then I just felt really tired and moody and we got in a bit of an argument and we just decided to go home because we were just so exhausted. I think the last week or like, I don't know, just all the traveling's taken it out of us and We've had quite a few late nights recently and trying to do work and stuff and it's been a bit all over the place and when we came back I literally yeah. just slept for the whole afternoon. I think we I needed it. We didn't eat a huge amount yesterday, didn't drink enough. It's just hard when you're travelling. It's really hard, I, I'm sure if you've done... Because they made us pour all our water out as well at the airport. Yeah. So. I'm sure if you've been travelling before like from place to place <clears> in short spaces of time it can get like... I know that we've not been doing that many places like... But we, like, Bali was quite, we did a lot of adventurous things and that ride, I think, really took it out of me and we just needed it and not every day goes to plan. You don't have every day where you're like, let's go out and everything goes goes well, especially if it's just two of you. Yeah. Sometimes it's easy to, like, let rip, like, let rip. I think I let out all the emotion and, like, <laughs> annoyance I was feeling because something just, they just start to get to you. I just let it all out on Alex and then got in an argument and I was rude to him and vice versa. And then it started to rain, so we were kind of like, we... We were nearly deciding to go to the Royal Palace and we were like, it's raining, there's no point anymore. So we just came back. Yeah, as soon as, it, as, soon as we got in the tuk-tuk, it started yeah. pouring with rain, so maybe it worked out in the end. I kind of had a sense that one of the days here would kind of be like this because mm. of how just <clears throat> tired I'm feeling. So we're going out to dinner now and we'll show you some of the food. So today's just been <laughs> showing you food. It's been great. But, I mean, I feel like I would enjoy that to watch anyway, so. Yeah. Um, but yeah, just re being real, not every day when you're traveling, it's all happiness and fun and like adventure and all that type of stuff. Sometimes you just argue and sleep and feel miserable. And that was today, so. And that's already getting. <laughs> no, let's go. I'm feeling so much better having slept. Like I literally feel revitalized. I feel like a new person. It looks like it's rained again. Like it looks like, oh, I think we need to go this way. <laughs> oh, do you know what? It smells like um, pineapple. That's a, an amazing thing about um, Asian place countries is every, there's lots of streets where it just smells like fruit but then there are also a lot of streets where it smells like poo so <laughs> there's like a river or I don't know what it is like a it looks I like a sewage it was like a canal, I a canal, it a canal and it was, but it smelled like poo because it was like standing water it was yeah like a river flow, so yeah it just, yeah. <laughs> cement central over here Superimposed in front of the kitchen because it's called Master Rima Vegetarian Restaurant. <laughs> I think it is, I've got a whole bookshelf on them. This place freaks us out though because the menu has like pork and like goat, like literally like shredded pork skin, goat meat fried, shrimp deep fried, all fish fried, like intestine meat fried, and it's just so specific. But I think that a lot of our experience of um, 
vegetarian Asian Asian vegetarians because they do like their mock meats. So they tend to just replicate whatever meals but make them vegetarian with mock meats and they just refer to it like that. One of lunch tasted just like ham, wasn't it? Yeah. Or some kind of like chicken. Yeah. It tasted like chicken noodle soup. Yeah. Kind of specific chicken you get. Because in the UK, it's, if you get a vegetarian meal, it's like vegetable based, but over here it's like all out with the mock meat, which is kind of cool. I don't love mock meat really it's nice, myself. It's nice to have a choice. Yeah. I don't, like, I just like tofu, simple tofu, but um, it's fun sometimes. Soup, bread, mystery, spring roll, muddy. That food was only $13, one free. And for some reason, they, their unofficial currency here is US dollars, which is, was a shock to us. We were like, what? But we got two curries, spring rolls, fried rice, tofu, so that like two dishes each and a starter. How much? Literally, as I'm talking, I'm doing that. But right, I think we'll say goodbye now because I want to go home and collapse in bed. It was kind of mental in there because there was kids and this camera is driving me up the wall. Doesn't like the dark, does it? Doesn't like anything. Um, there were like five kids in there rolling around on the floor screaming the entire time we were in the restaurant so I'm glad to be out of it. It was good food but like... Yeah. Ugh, we wanted like a piece of dinner. <laughs> I feel I'm really sorry if like all we've done the last few videos is moan because I feel like we have because so many things like, I don't know, we had the Wi-Fi problem, then like that um, bike ride where I was like moaning the whole time. I really am having a good time. I think maybe just when you pick up the camera, it's like um, a way of like venting. letting off steam and venting. <laughs> so I kind of like say anything bad that's happened. I don't know, it's not a good way to do it, but um, we are having a lovely time. And that was a good meal. And we've got some food good. to take away with us. Cheap as well. So cheap, like $13 for like, Enough, for probably, enough food for probably like three people or four people if you're five, not that hungry. Five dishes. Five dishes, yeah. So, um, but yeah, we're gonna go to bed and we'll see you tomorrow for a more eventful day. We'll do the museum and palace probably tomorrow or something along those lines. And maybe go back to that Vibe Cafe for breakfast. Cause it's just around the yeah. corner. Yeah. And get an acai bowl, like true Westerners. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we'll see you tomorrow.